This gathering of stakeholders in the environment sector is here for the 17th meeting of the National Council on Environment, which is regarded as the highest policy-making body for the country environment sector. With the team for this year as Environment Financing, Minister of Environment Balero B. Lawan says it has become pertinent for innovative financing mechanisms and public-private partnership to mobilize funds towards mitigating environmental challenges. Mobilizing more financial inputs to environment sustainability is essential for because it allows for the allocation of resources towards projects and initiatives aimed at protecting and preserving our environment. As we are aware, environmental finance is, is capital intensive. Mobilize more financial inflows for monetary stability that they need to inflow innovative financing mechanisms. Stakeholders at the event agreed on the need to adopt more natural based solutions in addressing climate crisis and other environmental issues. For us, in the Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation, we are partnering with the Ministry of Environment in the areas of uh, campaign against the open duplication ODF, which is in line with the Executive Order 9, to end the open duplication by year 2025. Um, one of the things in, in the Paris Agreement, Article 2C, the objective is to make finance flows consistent with a pathway towards low greenhouse gas emissions and climate resilient development. High points of the engagement was the public presentation of the National Clean Cooking Policy document, recently approved by the Federal Executive Council to strengthen supply and enhance demand for clean cooking solutions in Nigeria. Dominic Eyemese, ITV News.